Hi everyone, it's Angela. Thank you for being here. Happy Saturday. So in our video today, I am going to address our emotions, our thoughts, dealing with those negative emotions, not being afraid of them, and moving forward in our manifestation regardless of how we're feeling. So I want this to empower you and help you not be afraid of those negative feelings because you are a human being. We are humans and we are meant to feel the range and the whole spectrum of emotions. So I want to help you maneuver through those feelings and know that you still can get your desire. All right, guys, um, links for working with me are down below if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one session. Also, there's a link for my course, Awaken to I Am, and that very much relates to what I'm talking about today. It's developing the I am I am state in your conscious thinking brain, realizing that you are the opera power and that you are directing the whole show. And I've had a lot of good feedback, a lot of um, people sharing how they have shifted and totally changed their mindset by taking that course. So check that out. Also, we are giving away a free course, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast, great course it's uh we're just giving it away so if you want to sign up for that or find out how to get the course look down below okay let's start with our video um so i'm going to start with a quote from neville and i'm going to talk about states so neville says i simply mean a certain attitude of mind well, I mean that state or that attitude of mind to which I must constantly return constitutes my dwelling place. And so I dwell in it. So if night after night I dwell in the feeling of feeling sorry for myself, that's my state. All right. So Neville is talking about the attitude of mind combined with, so that's our conscious thinking mind. Combining that with our feelings, and that is what creates the state, and we manifest from our state. The world is going to show us back, reflect back to us what our state is. But what I want you to know is your emotions, your feelings, regardless of what they are, are the energy, are the power. They are the, um, the source that creates the movement that allows you to align with experiences. It's magnetic, regardless of what they are, right? It's the power. What is directing the whole show, though, the thing that is um, directing the direction is your conscious thinking brain, the thoughts that you are intentionally choosing. So, so many times when we are feeling bad, feeling negative, feeling like uh, we're rejected or we're not wanted or we're not loved, the, that feeling place, those emotions then lead us back into thoughts that are going to support that feeling and so then we begin to loop because we think thoughts that are saying yep that's right i'm not wanted i'm not chosen i'm rejected that then reinforces the feeling of not being chosen not being wanted not being um loved all of that and that as neville says is our dwelling place and our dwelling place is what is manifesting but what we need to remember is he also says he is talking about an attitude of mind, a state of mind. So our, our feelings, our emotions are the energy, yes, but we are directing all of that through the thoughts that we choose. So what I want you to know is regardless of how you are feeling, regardless of, you know, feeling rejected, feeling hurt, feeling lonely, you can acknowledge all of those things. And in fact, you should acknowledge them because if you try to ignore them and stuff them and pretend like they're not there, they're going to persist. So you can acknowledge those and you can feel them fully. That is part of processing, right? But in that moment, when you are feeling those emotions and feeling that pain, you remind yourself with your brain, with your conscious mind, I still get my desire. I am directing 
all of this energy, even though it doesn't feel good, even though it's not energy that I'm enjoying in the moment, I'm directing the power. I'm directing this energy towards this thought, this end, that I am chosen, that I am loved, that I am wanted, or you know that I am healthy, that I am well, I'm energetic, I have a strong, healthy body, that I am financially stable, independent, flourishing financially, that I am successful in my career. All of those things that support the outcomes that you prefer. This is why you are the operant power in your reality and you are the God of your experience. Because human beings over all other animals in creation have an imagination and we have the ability to consciously choose our thoughts to consciously direct our thinking okay the feelings eventually follow the feelings eventually line up the feelings eventually begin to support the new story but when they're not there that doesn't mean that you're not making progress that does not mean that you're not on the right path if you are continually redirecting your thoughts to a new story breaking the cycle, breaking the pattern of looping in the negative and staying in that negative state, you're breaking it with your conscious thinking mind and saying, nope, we're changing directions. So think of it like a big ship, right? The feelings are going to be the energy, the power, the force that is moving the ship. But your brain, your mind, the conscious thoughts that you are intentionally choosing are the direction. It is choosing the course. It is looking at the destination where you're going. It is literally, you are the cap captain at the helm, right? You are directing your ship. So you can harness that feeling, that energy, that power within you that is magnetic and consciously remind yourself that you are choosing an outcome that you prefer, okay? This is what it's about to consciously manifest. Your feeling state is a part of your 3D reality. Your emotions, your feelings, that is a part of your body because we embody those things. We feel them in, in our body. We sense them, right? So you have authority over that. So the state, that, that negative state, which is, that is a block that is the resistance when the mind and the emotions begin to resonate and loop in that negative place that is the state that is manifesting those things that we don't want but as soon as you begin to think a new thought and think a new story and direct your your thoughts intentionally to better outcomes you have shifted states you have shifted realities you have shifted to different timelines it's that simple and so we, we learn as we get better and better at this to realize that those feelings and emotions are temporal. They're going to come, they're going to go, they're going to change, but we continue to persist in the thoughts that are leading us towards the outcome that we prefer. Okay, so I, I want you to be very empowered with understanding this. I want you to know that you can choose the thoughts that you want, even when you're not feeling it, okay? And we talk a lot about feeling neutral. So that neutral place is when you have consciously chose your thoughts, stayed on that mental diet, been consistent, and the positive thoughts, the thoughts in line with your desire have become dominant, and now you simply feel more natural. You feel more... Um, at ease, comfortable with this new story being your truth. So neutrality is an awesome place to be in. But I want you to know that when you're not feeling the neutrality, when you're feeling that fear and that anxiety, you are still manifesting and moving in the direction of your desire. So do not fear the negative states. Remind yourself, it's just the energy, it's the power, and I'm going to consciously direct that energy by choosing the thoughts that I want. And let that empower you and strengthen you in that moment when you choose a new thought, a new outcome, something that is your preferred reality. You are aligning with it, regardless of how you feel. 
regardless of how you feel. So there's a lot of talk about, you know, the emotions and the feelings and, oh my gosh, what if it manifests? But remember, you're in charge. You are the captain of your ship. You are the god of your experience. You are choosing consciously to redirect your mind, to put your attention on different things. And that is your gift. You have free will to choose anything that you want. You can create any story. You can imagine anything that you want and persist in it. And those emotions are going to come. They're going to go. They're going to fluctuate. They're going to go up and down. But the more you persist in the new story, the more you consciously redirect and you break the cycle in that loop of that old state, the emotions will begin to line up with it and they'll begin to support the new story and the new conscious thoughts. So guys, don't be afraid of those feelings. You have authority, right? You are in charge by choosing the outcome that you prefer. I just want to reinforce that so much. Don't be afraid of those fears. You can acknowledge them, you can feel them, but remind yourself in that moment that you're in charge and you're choosing beautiful things, better outcomes. So I hope this has really empowered you and given you strength. Understanding this and, and having this actually click within me has made a huge difference. I remember when I really began to grasp onto the power of my thoughts as um. The, the direction that was leading everything, that was deciding the outcome, that was focused on the thing that I preferred, it was so empowering. And I didn't feel bullied and controlled by my emotions anymore. And that's what I want for you. Don't let your feelings and your emotions bully you and try to dominate you and try to loop you into now thinking thoughts that go along with that state, that negative state. Use your, your God-given brain, your mind, and remind yourself that you are in charge and you have a new story and that is your outcome and that is the direction that you're moving in. So I hope that you're very motivated and very empowered. And if you'd like to work with me more on talking about how to deal with those feelings and emotions and maneuver as you're manifesting, book coaching with me and I'll help you get started with this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.